Well, rosé has become the official wine of warm weather, and here to show all of us a few different ways to enjoy rosé all day is the wine director of the Four Seasons Hotel in Toronto, Drew Walker, joins me. Drew, nice to see you this morning. Thanks for having me, Jeff. Really appreciate it. Appreciate you coming in. All right, give us the 411 on rosé. You've brought four different types. That's, yep, that's exactly right. I'm in the, the lucky position of talking about this. This is really the, the hottest drink going these days, truly. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't keep it in stock and in this market specifically throughout the summer months. So Rosé is having a bit of a moment, uh, as they like to say. Big time. Yeah, yeah. Big time. Why, why is that, by the way? I th I, maybe the color. No, yeah. it's the style. You know what? Honestly, it's so versatile. Pairs with food, pairs with the weather. You can enjoy it uh, mm -hmm. morning, noon, and night. All right. All well, day. Uh, what have you got here? So the first wine, I'll just touch. These are some of my summer picks. I think some wines that are exceptional value and also available at the hotel all year. Uh, this is a Cote de Provence. Rosé, really the, the king of rosé. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you spent any time in the south of France, but you know you can almost feel the yacht beneath your feet when you're okay. uh, when you're drinking this wine. Really, it is. Mm -hmm. It's effortless and elegant, and really clean and fresh. Next is a wine a little further north from the Rhone Valley, um, in the south southern part of that, from Côte de Ventoux. Maybe a little spicier, a little more full-bodied, something you could enjoy with a main course, maybe as opposed to earlier in the in the daytime. Gotcha. One of my favorites is a local rosé. It's a single vineyard Pinot Noir made by Malavoir. One of the most historic vineyards is called Moira's, and they take that fruit to make a specific rosé because it's so influential these days and just dynamite I highly recommend seeking that bottle out okay and uh, what have we got here this looks like a rosé slushy that's right okay <laughs> I don't know if you had any last year but this yeah. was the drink of the summer last year mm -hmm. kind of originated in New York uh, amongst other cities and yeah. yeah some here in Toronto as well this is a Frosé is the, the term that, uh, that we use, and so it's a, a okay. slushy here. Yeah. Um, we make this special with a bit of lavender, uh, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of gin, and then, of course, a base wine of rosé, and we top it up with Moet and Chandon rosé champagne. Very nice. Give it a little fizz, a yeah. little bubble. I'm just going to stir this up for you, Jeff, and then add a garnish. So mint keeps it nice and fresh and summery as well. Here mm. we are, just to finish the drink. Very nice. Please give it a taste. Awesome. Let me know what you think. We'll be serving this at, uh, at D-Bar at D-Bar all summer. That's great. That yeah. Oh, it is. It yeah. is really good. It's I can really say refreshing. that I, I didn't make it up, so yeah. it's uh, it's easy to say. Yeah, but I think it's fantastic. <laughs> and, and by the way, what do we, we got here? These yeah. are yeah, these are candy garnishes that mm -hmm. uh, we use too sometimes for our cocktails. Great for the backyard if you're entertaining. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just just right throw in, in drink. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, nice pink Re gummy stick. And a beautifully refreshing drink on a hot summer day. Drew Walker, wine director of the Four Seasons in Toronto. Drew, thanks. Appreciate so much. it. Thanks for having me. I really. All right.